What's up, fools? Welcome back. So you've got custom firmware installed on your 3DS, and now you're wondering what to do with that custom firmware. Well, the first thing I'm going to show you to do here is install the world's slowest FTP server. <laughs> so you can see here is a, uh, a Fire Emblem Fates custom 3DS running the Luma firmware. So we're going to take this system out of the tray here. And I show you on the back here, there's two screws, which you know already, but uh, every single time you want to get into this system to put something on the SD card, you've got to unscrew those screws and take this panel off. And it's an enormous pain in the ass. So wouldn't it be nicer if the system ran an FTP server that you could just uh, connect to remotely from your computer and just transfer files directly to the system without having to go through all that pain and suffering. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do here real quick. Uh, go to the link in the description below and you'll get the FTP Daemon CIA install. And once you've got that install, let's just pretend that you've taken your system apart and put that CIA in the CIA's folder on your SD card. So we're going to go into Homebrew here and we're going to open FBI. And like always, we're just going to go into SD, CIAs, and then let's pretend that there's an FTPD CIA file, which there isn't because I've already installed it. But let's just pretend you click that, you click install, and now it's installed. So there you are. Uh, you've got an FTPD icon now on your main menu, so go ahead and launch the FTP. And you'll see there that uh, the, the 3DS is telling you the IP address that you need to use and the port you need to use to connect. So now you can just go to your computer and use any FTP client. I use WinSCP. Then in WinSCP, we just uh, uh, enter the information to connect, which you're looking at your 3DS. So you just uh, you know select FTP, tell it no encryption, type in the host name IP on the, on the 3DS, type in the port number on the 3DS, and then check the box that says anonymous login and it will automatically type in the anonymous username and anonymous password. You can save this for later use if you want, but uh, when you're all ready, just click login. And then you'll see your 3DS and your computer, a bunch of text appearing on the screen. You're now connected. So now the left hand side is your computer, the right hand side is your 3DS. Um, you know, if you're working with themes, you just go into your themes folder and drag and drop themes from your computer onto your 3DS. If it's games, then you just go into the CIAs. So that's it. When you're done, you just uh, go to commands disconnect or close the window and uh, it will disconnect. And then on the 3DS, just hit the B button and it will close out the, uh, the FTP application. So that's all there is to it. Um, you know, it's really easy, makes life a lot easier. It is slow as molasses, so I wouldn't recommend trying to copy like a three gigabyte game over FTP. Uh, for games, I'd recommend something like Free Shop. But uh, if you're just copying themes or files or things like that, uh, it's fantastic. In my opinion, it's the first thing that I'd install uh, once you have custom firmware installed on a 3DS. So I hope the video was helpful, and we'll talk to you guys later.